Hey Stitchers, your girl Chris here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel on social where it's totally cool to be obsessed with sewing. So for today's video, your girl is back to share another completed Make 9 garment as part of the Make 9 challenge for 2024. Now, if you have no clue what I'm on about, I did film and share a video detailing all my plans for Make 9 2024, and I'll go ahead and try to leave the link right here or if not, in the description box down below. Now, as part of those plans, I wanted to zone in on some selfless sewing for 2024. Now, you guys, I told you already, and I'm telling you again, I really, really don't enjoy sewing for other people. Like, I feel like sewing for other people just comes with an additional level of stress. You have a completely different body that you have to fit, you have to take into consideration what that person likes or doesn't like. And of course, if you F up the fabric, then that's a completely different story altogether. Now, whereas when I'm sewing for myself, if I make a mistake, I can either bin my garment, I can put it to the side, it can stay unsewn and on punishment for one month, two months, a year, maybe more until I am ready to get back around to it. But when you're sewing for somebody else and you have deadlines to meet and that sort of thing, then for me, it just adds a different level of complication to sewing. So I really don't enjoy the process of sewing for other people, but I have made exceptions in the past and I do make exceptions from time to time, but I don't really enjoy it. Now, I started teaching myself to sew back in 2018 after a good friend of mine encouraged me to give it a go. So that means you guys, this year makes six years that I have been sewing. In those six years, I have made one shirt for my husband and one shirt for my brother. Y'all, that could never, ever, ever be right. So I'm trying to remedy that just a little bit this year by making a garment for both my brother and for my husband. Now, in my Fabrics haul video, I think I shared with you guys that my husband... I'm going to make him a pair of sweatpants. Now, I haven't started this project as yet. In fact, I have not even pre-washed my fabric or anything of the sort, but I have started making a project for my brother. And you guys, this is the project. So the shirt I'm wearing today is not really my shirt. This is actually my brother's shirt. No, this is the Mimi G Gosling pattern. It came out eons ago. It feels like eons ago as part of the So So Deaf magazine. I think I got that right, but I'll go ahead and verify. And if it's not correct, then I'll be sure to correct it in the description box down below. So I bought this pattern early on when I started learning to sew. And I think I made my husband his first shirt using this pattern. Now, so I've gone ahead and used it this time to make a shirt for my brother. Now, I really like this pattern. I like the detail of the front yoke piece particularly because it has like an angular yoke right here at the shoulder. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I'll go ahead and drop the line drawings into the video so you can get a better appreciation for the line drawings for this shirt. So I went ahead and made it up for my brother. At his request, he wanted a shirt to wear to a photo shoot with his girlfriend. Now they were doing, you know, the cute couple thing where they wear like matching fabric. And he brought the piece of fabric and asked me to turn it into a shirt. And this is what I came up with. Now, this pattern is available in a size extra small to a size 2XL, which ranges from a chest of 34 up to 44 inches. So obviously, it's not the most size inclusive pattern. But I think at this time, when this pattern came out, size inclusivity was not really such a big deal in the sewing community as it is now. Thank God. So it means that this pattern is quite limited in its sizing, but very good nonetheless. So if you have a man in your life and if he happens to fit into the size range for this pattern, then I would absolutely encourage you to give it a go. Now, I enjoyed making this pattern. I do, in fact, like making shirts and I do have some experience putting shirt patterns together. And so I didn't find this make particularly difficult. I think the most challenging part would have been the angular yoke just because you don't want to have any puckers at your yoke at your yoke line. So to avoid that, what I did was I stay stitched the area where um, the two sides of the yoke came to a point, I stay stitched it, and then I snipped close to, but not through my stitching line so that I could spread my fabric apart and make it much easier to attach the, um, the yoke piece to the front bodice piece. 
So if you're going to go ahead and make this pattern, just pay attention to the angular piece for the yoke. Other than that, sewing this um, pattern was a breeze. I did go ahead and put my collar in and my collar stand using a slip stitch on the inside of my shirt. Now, I like putting collars in. I think it's one of my favorite things to do is to make a collar. But introducing it into the, um, what do you call it? Collar stand can be tricky sometimes to get it to line up perfectly on the inside and on the outside. So to avoid any like wonky stitches on either side, I do prefer to go ahead and slip stitch. And that's exactly what I did for this garment. Um, other than that, this shirt does have the option to have sleeve tabs and it does have the option to have a pocket. Now, I omitted both the tabs and the pocket for my brother's shirt. Now, I could have done them. And in fact, I did go ahead and cut out the pattern pieces. But during the construction process, I just decided not to include them for this mate. Now, when I was cutting out the front bodice piece of the shirt pattern, I did take care to try and get the pattern placement right. And I just didn't want to introduce a pocket and sort of throw the whole thing off, even though maybe it may not have been such a big of a deal. Now, when I was cutting out the pattern, I tried to do um, the dominant pink color on one side for the leaf and then cut out the corresponding leaf using the lighter pink color. I'm hoping that that makes sense to you guys. So if you look at the shirt, you can see that on one side, it has a darker leaf print. And on the other side, it has a lighter leaf print right across the chest area. And it did take me some time to get that just right. Other than that pattern placement, I did not try to pattern match this project anywhere at all. I didn't think that the fabric required it. And, you know, I didn't think it was such of a, a big of a deal. So I just really zoned in on getting the pattern placement right in the front and sort of just cut the rest of the fabric out just on a whim. Now, I really like how it looks. I really love this Ankara fabric. And even though this shirt belongs to my brother in theory, I'm thinking of making this shirt my shirt because it's in my colors. I had my colors done like two or three years ago, and then I became an ambassador. And then I made him have his colors done. And it turns out that we're both twilight winters. That means his colors are my colors and this shirt should become my shirt because I love it. And I think it will work wonderfully in my wardrobe. And of course, it fits. Now, of course, there's no fitting, there's no darting and all of that because obviously this is a man's pattern and not a female's pattern, but I still like how it looks on me. And I'm pretty sure that this shirt is going to end up in my wardrobe. So mark my words, you guys, this shirt is about to become my shirt. Now, I love this Ankara and I love Ankara generally. Um, if you guys don't know anything about Ankara, Ankara is like an African um, fabric. It originated in Africa and it really does often have like bright, vibrant, bold prints and colors. And it is just amazing to work with. And this Ankara was no exception. I really, really love just the whole color scheme of this Ankara fabric. I love the design of it. I like how bright and bold it is. And as I said already, this shirt should be my shirt. Now there's a whole week honoring Ankara in July hosted by Lena and by Juliet, both over on Instagram. So if you have no idea what Ankara is, you've never worked with it before, then I would encourage you to go and check out both of their handles, which I'll also put in the description box and go see all the hype about Ankara. So the appreciation week is in July. I usually participate every year because as I said, I love Ankara and I have lots of Ankara makes. And I think for this year, I want to go ahead and showcase this shirt as my shirt during Ankara Appreciation Week. So me and my brother are about to have it out over this shirt. Now, I think that's all I need to tell you guys about it, that I love it, and that he actually liked it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some photographs of him wearing this shirt. Can you guys see how much he is glowing in this shirt that his sister made when he went out to take a photo shoot? with his boo. So we both like this shirt, so we'll see what ends up happening. So I'm really, really pleased to have gotten this selfish sew ticked off of my Make 9 projects for 2024. I mean, I didn't expect to get it done so early, but he did have a date set for his photo shoot. And obviously that's the added pressure that I was telling you guys about, but thankfully I was able to do it and do it well. So that's all I needed to tell you guys today about this make as part of my Make 9 Project 2024. So selfless so, tick.
done it. Your girl has done it. So if you have watched any of my other videos, then you can tell that I have been very, very, very busy with the Make Night Challenge this month. Well, not this month because we're now in February. So last month, January. I think I made three different makes off of my Make Nine project list for 2024. And I'm super, super pleased with myself. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of steam sometime soon. But whilst I have it, then I'm punching, 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 punching. And this is where we have ended up. Now, if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos and you have made it this far, then please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be sharing, sharing, sharing lots of information about my patterns, my fitting, my behind the scenes, all of that good stuff here on my channel. And if those are things that you are interested in, then hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and please leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think of this shirt? Have you made Ankara before? Have you sewn this pattern before? Are you planning to sew for anybody else in your life as part of your Make Nine Challenge for 2024? Like leave all of these things in the comments down below and let's have some conversations. So that's all I needed to share with you guys today. And until next time, stay safe, stay cool, keep sewing. Peace.